Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, who has time for scissors? How the fuck does this open? I want to see the cheap goodies. Oh yes. Come on. Cable. Cable. Oh, this is hanging out. Cable. Mountains of wrap. Thingy. What is this? Tube. Tube. A lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Let's try and open this fucker. Tube. It's huge. Oh, hello battery. Free elastic band. I'm glad I got my money's worth. Dump those to the side. Get rid of this other box. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Noise. Excitement. Overexcited. Literally just finished work. What is it? What is it? What is it? That looks nicer than I thought it would. Let's see the body. To be honest, I thought this was going to look like a piece of shit. It's, the body's so small. What is going on? My first six string bass. Not bad for a non bassist. It's a Harley Bent and something or other. It's ridiculously out of tune. I don't know the spec of it, I'll go through that a bit later. Once I've had a chance to get used to it. It is an ugly fucker, but I kind of like it. Kind of like it. It's really light considering. I'll try and get it in shot. I'm quite pleased with this. Really quite pleased with this. Ooh. Okay, so first impressions, you really cannot see me. Immediate first impressions is it needs a setup. Because the rattle on this is ridiculous. C string is absolutely fine. So it's a G. D, bit of the rattle. A. I had to actually have a look at and that's pitiful. A, it starts rattling a lot. The E is diabolical. In fact, I don't know if I can show you this, but the yeah, it seems to be resting on the first fret. Hoping the nut doesn't need some work. That's a ridiculous uh, rattle and the B. So yeah, it needs a massive setup. Other than that, it's really light. It's uh, surprisingly comfortable. Um, I, again, I'm not a fucking bassist. Not even for a second. Fuck's sake, I'm barely a guitarist. But um, it's all right. It's hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get it sorted with a setup. We'll have a look. Right then, guys. I've tuned it up. I've had a quick play with it. Uh, it's still not perfect. I could probably get it better. The, the stock strings aren't great. Again, I'm not a bassist, so I don't really know what I'm talking about too much. Um, but the B string, it's got a lot of rattle and a lot of buzz. I try and play lighter, and it's not too bad. The only adjustments I've made from stock is the... Um, it didn't look like the neck was warped or anything. There was no bend in it that I could see, at least. Again, I'm not a guitar tech. Uh, all I've done is I've raised the bridge on the, the, the B, the E and the A. Uh, as you can see, they're sitting quite high now, but that has stopped a lot. Sorry, I should really speak to the camera and stop playing. Um, yeah, it stopped a lot of the buzz on the E. B 
B is still there, but um, I think if you get a thicker string for the B, it should be no issue. Uh, I plan on getting some thicker strings for the whole lot anyway, just casually picking at my ass, that's what I'm doing. Not at all pulling my t-shirt down like an ordinary person. So, set up here, I've just got bass going straight into my Focusrite Scarlett uh, 2i4 audio interface. And I'm just recording the audio of the bass with Reaper at the moment. And for the tone, I'm just using a preset on EZ Mix called Classic Metal Bass. Uh, I didn't really hunt long for a, a nice tone, I just wanted a constant there so you could get an idea of some of the tones achievable with this bass. Um, it's quite wide considering it's such a cheap bass. Uh, I can't remember the name of this, I'm sure it's in the description. And if you're watching this, you've probably got some vague interest in the instrument anyway. And from what I can say on initial impressions, from a non bassist's point of view, is uh, for this price, go and fucking buy it because uh, it, it's extremely playable from what I've been able to, to touch so far. So, yeah, we've got four controls down here we've got a push pull volume. which seems to cut off, I don't know if you can hear that, sort of gets halfway and then just cuts off so there's like a quarter turn play of silence and that's on passive I think, no sorry that's when it's active, when it's passive about the same. I think I'm getting them confused actually. Yeah, okay, when it when it this is active right now. So it's active when the, the push switch is up. Uh, it's pathetic that I'm having to look at the volume in order to tell this. So I've currently got it in active mode. Um I I can't play bass. I play bass like a guitarist. I'm gonna. It's just gonna happen. I've got it for recording purposes. But um, I do have another bass, it's another Harley Benton, cheap as chips, can't remember the model of it, um, you've probably seen it before. Uh, the, the tones achievable on that are, are really slim, you, you've sort of only got one style only, whereas this one seems quite versatile. So we've got the, that volume, which is push-pull, which is really nice. Um, I believe we've got treble control at the back, and then bass. treble all the way down and playing with the bass now. I like having treble on full and bass at the bottom because I just like that. I like that really poppy tinny sound. And I believe the next knob is known as balance, which you don't really tend to get on guitars. could be talking out of my ass. I haven't looked anything up, I'm just guessing. So I like um, the balance all the way on zero. It's a lot higher end. I don't know how that mixes the pickups, but you get a tinnier tone and that's all I care about. So that's how I like it at the moment. Um, let's play a couple of riffs so you can sort of gauge what it sounds like, I guess. Uh, bear in mind, I can't play. So at the moment, with that set up, inactive, full treble, uh, bass all the way down and whatnot. Let's just try a little bit of slap. I can't play slap bass. Um, I don't know any riffs either, so let's just get on with it. So let's take the treble down, bring some bass in. warmer, a lot warmer. Let's bring the the balance all the way up the way. Sounds a lot more like a walking bass kind of tone that does to me. And then I'm not going to go through all the tones because it'd be physically impossible for me to do at least. What I'll do now is put it in passive. actually sounds really nice, I like that. And then, 
Again, I'll just fiddle with the balance. So already, I really like the tones achievable, just with that sort of set of controls and with that style of playing. Um, you can still play your typical bass lines. I've had barely any hours on it so apologies I'm going to keep apologizing for that one so um, kind of a major point which I found with my other Harley Benton bass talking over the bass it's gonna be really hard to hear god damn it I've got to edit this video uh, yeah with my other Harley Benton bass and I believe it on a lot of other cheap basses is actually quite hard to get harmonics whereas on this one uh, harmonics seem quite easily achievable for a non-bassist so that can't be too bad so let's try a few not bad not bad that's with my preferred settings. Let's just put some more bass into that. Well, actually, I've just turned the balance the other way. Playing quite close to the bridge to achieve these because I can't do them with it. Also, don't know how to do pinch harmonics or tapped harmonics on the bass. So, natural is going to have to be. Yeah, not bad at all. Just happy that I can achieve. I can achieve them. Now the the thickness of the neck is not that different to my eight string guitar, believe it or not, which is just behind my shoulder. Don't know if you can see it at all. Out of shot. No, nah, my chair's covering it. It's, oh, it's because it's not. It's right at the end of my neck. It's right there. Yeah, it's not too dissimilar to my eight string guitar. So uh, quite comfortable, which means. I can hit the B fairly easy. Uh, yeah, I can't play bass. Probably playing the most generic bass lines there are. But uh, it's all I know. So yeah, extremely playable. I haven't tried to play and fit up here, but what worries me is the cutaway doesn't go that deep. So uh, if that, that's me just grabbing it naturally, I would have to um, extend my little finger quite a lot to reach the, the 24th. Uh, but if I'm playing up there, chances are it's all going to be tapped anyway. Uh, so yeah, very impressed actually. It's got an elongated horn at the top in order not to make it too neck heavy, but it sits on my lap and it uh, it does naturally want to dip. There's not a lot of weight to the bass at all. Uh, it's very neck heavy, I will say that. But again, it is cheap, very cheap. Just look in the description of the link. Um, you'd get a lot of bang for your buck with this. It's really impressive how they do it. I do not know. I definitely recommend that you buy this bass. There aren't a lot of videos out there on this bass on YouTube. They are the odd one. Um, but the sound quality isn't too great in them. I'm sure they're reasonable players, but um, what are you going to do? People can't. You can't expect everyone to have decent equipment. I don't have decent equipment myself, but I try and do the best with what I've got. Um, I'd love to see what a, a professional bassist could do with this, or you know, at least a actual bassist, not just a guitarist, pretending he can play bass. Uh, it is one ugly, ugly design. The headstock is hideous as well. The inlays, uh, they've sort of got yin yang inlays all the way up to the, the 15th fret and then it just goes to oval shapes. But even though it's hideous, I kind of like it. I'm, I'm growing to it. 
for the bridge piece, um, it's got individual saddles, which is, I don't know if I like that or not. I don't know what I'm talking about for the most part. Um, I can't tell you any of the spec, they'll be in the description. But yeah, a lot of bass for your money here, a lot of bass. <laughs> stop torturing your ears now. So I, I don't think I'm going to replace the, the pickups or the electrics in this. I don't think I need any work done on it at all. Uh, I reckon that action is absolutely fine. Uh, the only thing I need to do is change the strings and I need to get a much much thicker thicker B string but I think that's expected anyway. Who keeps the stock strings on? Uh, compared to my other Harley Benton bass which I might Add is a, a more expensive model um, by £100 or so actually. And it's a five string model. Let's see if I can grab that for you. So, yeah, this Harley Benton bass, I can't remember the model of it, um, is fucking beautiful. Uh, it's a neck through construction. I can't remember the, the name of it. But um, although it's a really nice bass, uh, the, the, the kind of tones you can get out of it are nothing like like this six string, obviously this is only a five string but yeah, I think this is more playable it, it's a lot more comfortable but uh, the, the sounds you can get out of that six string are just so 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 much more and this just feels absolutely tiny <laughs> compared to that other one if only the six string like, like this because I'd be in love but yeah, this, I can't remember the price of, it's a good £100 so more than the six string. Just the electrics are shot as shit. I would let you hear this plugged in, but like a twat, I um, ripped the electrics out the other night and I can't quite get them right again. <laughs> Which is uh, really pathetic, I know. I, I had a beer, the reason I, I took the electrics out was that uh, I was getting the, the volume knob was crackling and poppings and uh, contact cleaner didn't fix it and also it was getting buzzed so it needed re-earthing so I thought fuck it I'll just uh, take all the wiring out make clean connections I didn't take any photos of it didn't make any diagrams and now I can't get it right now it plays fine for an amp but if I plug it into my audio interface I just get feedback or barely any volume yeah, so yeah I need to get some new pickups for this one it's a nice bass, but this one needs some work. That six string, the, you know, the, the bass that this, this video is actually on. God, I'm a fat fuck. I've got to lose some weight. Yeah, the, the, the video, that the bass that this video is actually on is a really nice bass. I, I can't believe it was so fucking cheap. Go buy one. I think that that's it from me. Yeah. Now I've got this, I, I feel confident to make some more recordings as well, so hopefully I can get some songs using this up shortly. Give me a week, I've got a week off work soon, so um, lots of recording time in there. Yeah, I look forward to it. I I'm off to enjoy the rest of the evening with this, which is really weird, I've usually got an eight string thing in my hand. Back to six strings, not the six strings I know. Cheers guys, enjoy. Footstool for every room you see.